Hello everyone, Dr. Robert Barton here with you with Peak Performance Spine and Sports Medicine. Today we're going to talk about some neuropathy exercises and we have four different postures that we're going to talk about. We have sitting, we have laying, we have standing, and we have walking. And that's pretty much in the order of difficulty. So the sitting, if you're not very ambulatory or able to walk very well, you're not going to progress to the walking anytime real soon. Now we'd like you to be able to get to that point, but we have to start somewhere. So we're going to start with the sitting exercises. And the first sitting exercise is called ABCs. It's a very standard um, exercise that we use to increase the mobility of the foot, the control, the neurological control of the foot, and it also helps with circulation. So one of the biggest problems with neuropathy is that circulation is diminished and that actually uh, creates an environment where the nerves die off and that creates pain at first and then eventually numbness and late stage neuropathy. So you know, these exercises help kind of pump fluid and, and circulation into the area. And they also help with lymphatic drainage. So the, the lymph is the circulation between the cells. And often when we get kind of swollen in our, in our lower legs or even anywhere in the body, it's, it's a lack of lymphatic drainage. And so these exercises help that as well. So with that, the first exercise is called ABCs. It's very simple. We're going to put our leg up. We're in a sitting position. We're going to put our leg up in a fashion like this, and we just kind of draw out the alphabet. So we, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but there's an A, and then we're gonna B, and that's a capital B, and then we're gonna have to do a C, and then a D, and you kind of get the point, okay? So what's happening is you're tracing the alphabet with your toe, and in doing so, you're going to basically move the foot in all kinds of different directions. If you run through the entire alphabet with one foot, and then switch and run through the entire alphabet with the other foot, then you're gonna get a really nice uh, increased circulation. You actually start feeling your muscles in your lower leg and just be diligent to actually carry through the, the entire alphabet. That's gonna be very important. So the second exercise is called foot pumps. And again, in a sitting position, we're gonna raise the leg up and we're just going to push, uh, pump the foot forward and then backward, okay? And just like that, forward, and then backward. Now, you don't want to go forward, backward, forward, backward, just like that. And you actually want to hold it a little bit and then hold it in this way a little bit. And what you'll find is that your range of motion will actually improve. So you might be a little stiff at first and we only get to here, but then your range of motion will improve as you do this. And these are called isometric contractions. You're contracting this muscle here in your leg called the anterior tibialis, and then you're contracting your gastroc soleus complex, which actually points the foot. So that is the, um, the foot pumps. Next one is inversion, eversion. So inversion, eversion, here we have inversion, and here we have eversion. So it's the same thing. We're holding an isometric contraction, inversion, eversion, and it's exactly the same as the foot pumps in terms of the cadence or how fast you're doing it, and you're pumping up the muscles that cause this to happen, which helps increase circulation, okay? Just back and forth, inversion, eversion. Now you can do these by time. Uh, you can set a timer for about one minute and you can literally just you know, do the activity for one whole minute and then set the timer again for the inversion, eversion and that'll be a great start or kind of a warm up to the other exercises we're about to get into. Now it's important to note, you do need to do these sitting exercises just to kind of get some blood flowing and get a little warm up. So uh, be sure and, and do uh, each one of the three exercises. See you in the next video.